Welcome back to our IB Physics video series. This is the fifth and final video in IB Physics Topic 5, Electricity and Magnetism, where we will be looking at magnetism, magnetic fields, and the motor effect. We have learned in the previous IB Physics Topic 5 videos how electricity is generated and how it behaves. But how is this connected to magnetism? Magnetism is defined as the production of a magnetic force by moving charges. This magnetic force stems from the electromagnetic force exerted by charges. You might wonder why this is only produced by moving charges and not stationary charges. However, this is an incredibly complex phenomenon that you will not be tested on in your exam. Therefore, the simplest explanation is that moving charges exert a higher amount of electromagnetic force than is explained by the electrostatic force. This additional force is the magnetic force. The direction and strength of this magnetic force is termed the magnetic moment. The area where this magnetic force interacts with other charges is called the magnetic field. The natural next question is then, if moving charges create magnetic fields, how are some materials naturally magnetic? Well, to answer this, let's go down to an atomic level. Here, electrons fundamentally have a magnetic moment because they are charges that spin on their axes and move within their orbital. Therefore, each electron in an atom acts as a tiny magnet. In many atoms, the magnetic moments of the electrons cancel, so that the total magnetization of the atom is zero. However, in some atoms, these magnetic moments do not cancel, and thus align to create a magnetic field around the atom. So, what are the different types of magnetism that can be produced? You are expected to be aware of three types. Ferromagnetism, paramagnetism, and diamagnetism. Ferromagnetism is the permanent parallel alignment of unpaired electron magnetic moments by an external magnetic field. Common elements that have this are iron, cobalt, and nickel. Paramagnetism is the temporary alignment of unpaired electron magnetic moments by an external magnetic field. Common elements that have this are lithium, magnesium, and sodium. Diamagnetism is the temporary alignment of paired electron magnetic moments by an external magnetic field. Common elements that have this are copper, silver, and gold. There are two other types of magnetism that exist, called ferrimagnetism and antiferromagnetism, but you do not need to know them for your exam, so they're excluded from this video. We previously mentioned these magnetisms respond to external magnetic fields, so let's explore this now. So, a magnetic field is a force field produced by an exerted magnetic force. We most often see these represented using permanent magnets. In these, all magnets have a magnetic dipole, north and south, which always appear together. The internal magnetic field inside the magnet flows from south to north, and the external magnetic field outside the magnet flows from north to south. This creates a continuous path of generated magnetic force. Like other fields, the direction of the field lines represents the direction of the magnetic force and the distance between the field lines represents the strength of the magnetic field. These are called flux lines, and flux density respectively. The magnetic field strength, B, is measured in teslas, T. As we explained before, the magnetic force is just the electromagnetic force, so exactly as two like charges repel, and two opposite charges attract, two like poles repel, and two opposite poles attract, each with possible magnetic field shown below. However, not only permanent magnets produce magnetic fields. A current carrying wire contains moving charges and thus also generates a perpendicular magnetic field. However, a wire can also be fashioned into different shapes to produce different magnetic fields. You need to know the magnetic fields for three wire shapes. Straight, circular and coiled, known as solenoid. If you ever forget which direction the magnetic field travels in, use the right hand grip rule. For this, align your right thumb with the direction of the current, then curl your fingers, which represent the direction of the magnetic field. Remember though, if there is no current, there is no magnetic field. Let's review this all with a practice question. Which of the following magnetic fields is correct? Remember that external magnetic moments always travel from the North Pole to the South Pole, and that in wires you use the right hand grip rule. Therefore, the only one that adheres to these rules is option A. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. 
If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.